A topper is a topper probably because they have taken all the pains in understanding and studying the subject thoroughly. So can I just read a topper's study material and prepare for this exam? Well, the answer is unfortunately no. A topper probably has stopped the exam only because, you know, they have put in a lot of effort in collecting, curating and collating all the information and in a very lucid manner must have presented their points from their own perspective within the limits of their own capabilities. And they tried to actually evolve within their own shell. They did not try to get into somebody else's shell. And that's probably the reason why they top the examination. And it's very good on their part and thanks to them that they are sharing the material in the public domain so that aspirants like you may find it useful. All kudos to them. But their good intentions should not be over-exploited by the prospective aspirants in this exam. You need to understand the comprehensive information that is probably not there in the notes the toppers have written for themselves. There is a lot that is going on between those lines, which only the person who has written those notes will know about. They probably have a memory that would have helped them recall a particular concept which was only underlying, you know, in an uh, area. And probably it is not there in the notes that they have written down or inked on the paper. You need to be very comprehensive in your preparation. One of the areas, as I have told you in an earlier video, is the range of application. And that's one of the things that this examination looks for. And that is something you will only get when your preparation is as comprehensive as it can. Use the ready-made material available to you or accessible to you only to complement your study. It should never supplement your study. It should help you in trying to, you know, buffer the preparation that you are already deep into. But it should not replace the entire strategy of preparation that is required in order to get through this examination. So, make your own notes. If you have enrolled in an institute, make your class notes. Refer to the study material. Refer to the textbooks. And try and make your own notes. And when you do so, by the time you finish your prelims, you will be revising from your material alone and nothing else. And anything that is probably a recent development through the newspapers or the research articles that your faculty may share with you. But don't try to find a shortcut in preparing from somebody else's notes because you would not understand what's going on or what went behind making those material. It's important to understand the intangibles in this exam as much as what is there obviously lying in front of you. And let me ask you, why do you want to refer to somebody else's notes? Probably when you write your own material, when you prepare from your own notes, don't you think that you are benchmarking a better answer than what the toppers have probably made earlier? So aim for making something better out of the best. Do not try to compromise on the quality of your own answers and don't get carried away by what is being said and what is being discussed by many people. What's important in this exam is what not to read rather than knowing what to read. So make your own uh, notes, benchmark them. Probably you will be setting much more higher standards than your predecessors. So, do your bit, work hard and nothing comes easy in this life and especially in civil services, hard work does pay and learn to put in the kind of effort that this examination deserves and respect this exam. There is no shortcut to make it through unless and until you put in the right effort. <music>